Victoria, thank you so much for taking the time to, to connect today. So I have to know what is one thing that you have overcome and how did you tangibly do it? Yes. Yeah, so one thing I have overcome, my issue was delegating tasks in mm. business. It's so hard when you have birthed something and it's like your baby, but you need help. You can't do it all on your own. And I know that a lot of women experience this, whether it's in business, at home, whatever it is, we want to have control over everything. But I realized I couldn't do that if I wanted to grow. Mm. So the one thing that I did was I, the first thing I did to get over that was I took a look at my to-do list and I like really looked at it. It was long. <laughs> longer as the days went on and it was almost a reality check to say hold on there's no way right. there's no way you need help here you need help so from there um I'm thinking about too what are the things that only I can do mm, what are the things that I can outsource I, I may have the talent and the skill to do it but I don't have the time yes so someone can't go somewhere and pitch my business you know because that's what I do but can someone else do social media of course <laughs> You know, that's like I have like formal training and like writing and social media, but someone else can do that. You know I what I mean? That, yeah. Passed off. So thinking about things that can be passed off. Um, one of the other big things was actually finding help. Mm. You know, so taking the time to contact people that I know. Hey, do you have referrals? If that means a LinkedIn post, if that means an Indeed uh, job posting. Um, so getting someone on your team, if you don't have someone already, was a huge thing for me. But then also from there, it's about instilling that confidence in them that they can right. take. That's and cool. I think, yeah, I think I was able to do that by um, giving them smaller tasks to start off with. And we work together, you know, and say, so that way I get a feel for how their brain works. They get a feel for mine and what I'm looking for. But also when I'm giving them tasks, it's more about telling them exactly what I want when it comes to communication, but also leaving it open for creativity for them. Because the worst thing has ever happened is when you get assigned a job or a task and people are constantly like hunching over you. Yes. You want to do it, right? That's so true. Yeah. You want to do it. So you need to trust this person that you hired them to do the job and do it well. So from there, it's about giving them that freedom to say like, okay, this is what the needs are but please put your own spin on it. Please make mm. it as pretty and as sparkly as you want in your own way that only you can do. So doing that. So with that communication piece in there. And then lastly is stepping back. Like it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. But even recently um, I had someone take over a project for me and I was telling her, I can't tell you how good it feels to have this off my plate. <laughs> Yes. It feels so good. It's so refreshing. And now I can think about the things that only I can do that other people can do. That That is powerful. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I'm also thinking, you know, if I had somebody who was a boss that told me that, it, that is a good feeling to hear that. Yeah, put your own spin on it. And here's exactly what we're looking for, but make it your own. And I just think that's such a, a valuable valuable tip of how. Thank you for coming on and for chatting with me, Victoria. I'm excited to see what happens this year with you and your business. And tell, tell me again, uh, tell us about your business. Yes, it's Make It Classy, makeitclassydiy.com. It's a plant-based beauty brand. So we sell hair and skincare products, but they're completely plant-based. So we use plants, and herbs, and all of those good things for your hair and skin. I love it. I've been seeing you all on TV and in magazines, and I'm just super excited that you're based here out of Indy. Well, thanks for taking the time to chat. Awesome. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, bye bye.